Could James Storm soon be done with Impact Wrestling? This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Woo! Cowboy! First order of business. If you're a first time visitor, please hit subscribe here on the channel. This is the Impact Lounge, and it's been no secret that James Storm's contract is coming to an end here very shortly in January of 2018. Now, I'm the first person to get very upset when people leave the company or uh, people are given the pink slip. But James Storm is a little bit different. And James Storm is definitely in my top two or three favorites in Impact Wrestling. But the guy has done everything he could possibly do except get that, you know, real strong, memorable world title run. But I don't think that's in the cards with this current management as much as we would love to see it happen. Now, when it comes to James Storm and his contract, it's been rumored. Now, this is this is all rumored that he was on a salary contract for, I believe, a quarter million a year. Something that Dixie Carter hooked up. I am not under the impression that Anthem is interested in those kind of contracts right now. I think right now the per date deals and everything that they're doing and uh, paying them well for those dates, but only paying them if they wrestle. I think that really works well with the company. I think that's what they want to do going forward. And I think that's going to cause some problems with, you know, EC, EC3's negotiation, excuse me, EC3's negotiations when the time comes for that. But it's not about EC3. We're talking about James Storm. And if you've listened to any recent interviews with James Storm, he used to always really dismiss the whole NXT thing. And now it's almost like, oh, you know, if the opportunity comes again, you know, I'll see what happens, um, you know, at the time that he had he had jumped over there, he you know his wife wanted to have a kid. The Impact Wrestling schedule was easier, and face it, it's he's two years older, but he's in much better shape and much better condition than he was at the time. So I think there still is interest with him over there. And to be totally honest, I, I think he will go over there. I think he should go over there. To be totally honest, you know, he is he has given us everything for what like fifteen years now or whatever. So. If, if he wants to move on, you know, um, as, as a fan, I would support that. You know, it's very different. Um, you guys probably know my thoughts on, you know, Mike Bennett's the way he did it. You know, it's very different than, than something like that. And I just feel like James Storm probably makes a lot of money with the company. He's probably the top, you know, in the top three of uh, how the wrestlers are getting paid. And I think Anthem wouldn't mind coming out from under that contract. You, we see a lot of the TNA guys going. It's it's almost like Anthem's moving forward with Impact Wrestling, but a lot of the wrestlers associated, even the referees now associated with the TNA name, are kind of uh, kind of moving on. And with the number of people who have requested their release lately, I I have to believe, especially you know with like Hebner and um, you know, I think there's some situations where the company is telling them backstage, you know, we have interest in moving in a different direction. You can ask for your release or we can potentially fire you. You know, you know what I mean? So I think a lot of that is what's going on right now. But I, I fully believe that James Storm will be done. If I were booking Impact coming up here because, you know, they're doing a week's worth of tapings, uh, five days, so there should be about 10 episodes, so about two and a half months of tapings. And if I were booking, I would put James Storm in a in some sort of career match with uh, EC3. So Bound for Glory, they get along, kind of continue the feud. Um, you know, EC3's been around a long time, but I think that heel heat could really do wonders for him and uh, really get him back to the status that we want to see him at. But I could see James Storm... You know, many people will probably say, well, I want to see him put a younger guy over on the way out the door. Well, Impact's not really pushing young guys like that right now. You gotta, you kind of got to have a name <laughs> when you come in the company or you're kind of screwed. So I don't really see something like that happening. But I see potentially like a career-ending match or something like that. So that he could kind of kind of go out the right way on television and in front of the fans. And, you know, instead of just finishing the set of tapings and then not showing up for the next one, and then creatively they got to come up with something stupid like like they have been doing recently with the departures. But I, I, I'm just I'm got, I'm letting you people know I would I would really prepare for James Storm being done with the company next year in uh, in January. I think this is gonna be his last bound for glory. Wish he would have got that title run. I wish the main event would have been Eli Drake and James Storm. Even if Eli Drake went over, 
I really think that would have just been a much bigger main event that people would have been invested into. So let me know your um, your thoughts in the comments about James Storm. And um, if you just really want to see him come back, I mean, he, he's one of the oldest guys in the company. I don't think there's a spot for him going forward. That is a uh, plain and simple what it's going to come down to. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please hit subscribe. Bound for Glory is this weekend. Can't wait for it. Talk to you soon. Peace.